everybody, it is Romania Black and have I got a video for you. Um, I'm posting this June update video a little bit early on Patreon so I can have it out right at the start of June on YouTube. But oh my gosh, summer is here. <laughs> So this is a long video. I'm actually gonna have to timestamp the video so you can go to different parts. You can see in the description where each part is, but there is a lot to talk about for June and I wanna be able to get through everything. So I even have notes. <laughs> of what to do. But first of all, welcome to summer. A lot of people think that May is the start of summer, but for me, I'm a teacher and a coach. So my year winds down in May. There's like final grades. There's all the end of the year stuff. Actually, June is kind of the end of the fiscal year in terms of my job. So I always think of June as like the last month of the year and July starts a new year. It's weird, but that's just how I think. And so I always like June as a month because it's like, I teach over the summer, but it's online. So things are a lot more slower paced work-wise. I have a lot more hours to work on my channel, which I'm gonna talk about with y'all in this video. But June is like the start of summer. It just feels so liberating and I love it. And it's pride month. It's like a month of just lots of fun stuff is happening in June, which I'm gonna talk to you all about in this video. So first and foremost, Thank you all so much for all the support this month. Whether you are supporting me from YouTube, from Patreon, thank you so much. I, I'm finishing out my fourth year on the channel. I'm about to start technically my fifth year, which is insane. And I'm hoping to make this fifth year so much fun. And I'm gonna talk to you all about that in this video and things that I'm planning and things that I wanna do like organ organizing wise, things like that. So like I said, this is gonna be a long video, but first and foremost, Thank you so much for all of your support. And because it's the month of June, um, when I first started this channel, I wanted to, once I got up and running and got enough people supporting on Patreon that I could like have those funds saved up, I wanted to start donating back in the month of June. And so I wanted to try to find an organization that I didn't want to do the same organization every year because there's so many good causes that give back to communities across the world. And if you've ever been on my Discord on Patreon or if you've talked to patrons, there is such a diverse group of patronage through my channel that I am absolutely blessed with. Like you all are amazing. Like we get to see people from across the globe, from one country, from one continent to the other, come together to talk about something so as simple as manga and anime, but in the same way manga and anime kind of bring us all together, they talk about inclusion and symbolism and themes that we all can relate to as part of the human race. And it's so amazing to get this diverse group of voices together on this channel to talk about something so simple, but so powerful to us. So I wanted to find a charity that gives back to not only one particular community, but communities across the world that is as culturally diverse as the people that are on this channel that help sponsor me. So thank you. So for the month of June, before I get started with anything else, 100% of the proceeds for my Patreon, 100% of Patreon proceeds are going to go to World Central Kitchen. It is an organization that I found out a few months ago. I am kind of obsessed with it. They basically go around the world to different cultures, different countries, different populations that are in need for something that is so simple as food and provides food to those communities, regardless of political, regardless of cultural, regardless of any type of belief or structure or system that go around helping people in need. And that speaks to me so much with the inclusivity of it. So like I said, 100% of my proceeds on June's Patreon are going to go to World Central Kitchen. And I know it's not gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be enough. So if you do get a chance to donate to my Patreon, please make June that month because that'll be the month that we give those proceeds back to something that means a lot and that can actually help someone. If it gives anybody a hot meal, something is so simple as a hot meal, I feel like something as simple as anime and manga that we're talking about, it's a chance to give back and do something for someone that's in need around the world. So hopefully you all can donate this month and help give back to that cause. I'm so excited about it and to see what we can raise. I think that'll be amazing. So hopefully that's the case. And I'll kind of give it a plug at the very end of this video again. But anyway, so we might as well get around to talking about the schedule. That's what you all are probably here to see. So <laughs> I've cleaned up a little bit on here. So I got through a lot of manga uh, this last month in May over on Patreon, which I'm really excited about. I've actually broken up. I've decided to do maybe just two extras a month on 
Patreon and YouTube right now. Um, I'll talk about the Patreon exclusives here in a second, but I'm going to probably try to do like two extras a month. And that way I can focus more on the shows and planning that I want to do for the future, which we'll get into. But as far as the schedule goes on Mondays, we're going to have a scum villain self-saving system. We're finally to the novel. We're going to be doing novel reactions. I'm so excited. They have been so much fun so far and hopefully y'all can join in as I basically become an audiobook <laughs> for our book club, our Don My book club that I'm really, really excited about. The fandom is feral and I'm loving it. Um, on Tuesdays, we have Natsumi Jujin Cho or Natsumi's Book of Friends. Um, I'm hoping to get through season one um, going through the month of June and then maybe starting in July, I might start doing two episodes a week. I want to get through some of these heavy hitters, like, like psychopaths, <laughs> which we'll talk about in a second before I start doing two episodes a week, but that is on the trajectory. So just keep that in mind. I'm loving that Simi's book of friends. It's wholesome. It makes me cry. It's really good. If you've not watched it, you have plenty of time to catch up. Psychopaths. We've been watching Psychopaths a while and I love it. It's basically the spiritual successor to Bungo Stray Dogs. Living. Living for it. But we're on season three of Psychopaths and then we have some movies to watch after. So I believe we're going to be finishing up Psychopaths by early July. So there is going to be a poll in the month of June <laughs> to replace Psychopaths, which you'll see on there on Patreon. Thursdays is March comes in like a lion three got no lion that series is amazing it's one of my favorites now I freaking love it and I look forward to it every week so hopefully on Thursdays you get a chance to check that one out um then on Fridays starting this month um Fridays is Romania's pick her choice Friday day a uh, time slot so we finished Pluto and so I have a show that I've wanted to watch for a very long time. It's a comedy show, so it's something completely different than the last two shows that have been on Fridays. Um, but it's Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisan. I've wanted to watch this since it came out in 2022. I've been watching it and pre-recording for the channel. It is hilarious and also filled with existential dread. <laughs> so if you're in your late 20s and early 30s and are having an existential crisis, this is the show for you. <laughs> And it's so funny. So I'm excited for that to be out on Fridays. Um, on Saturdays, we are still watching Free Run Beyond Journey's End, which I'm loving, as well as the Berserk manga, which gives me an existential crisis. But we're having a lot of fun with it. And there are some really good volumes to come. So Saturdays, as always. And y'all, how I didn't watch Puella Madoka, Puella Magi Madoka Magica earlier, I don't know because. Honestly, this slot for this, this entire slot for this month, I'm so excited by, but Puella is one of my favorite shows now. It is so freaking fun to react to, to talk about, to theorize about. I am living and it's just blowing my mind and Cuba can confirm. <laughs> So if you have not checked out these shows before, I highly encourage you to. They are all very diverse. They are all a lot of fun. They're heartwarming, but they're also terrifying and so suspenseful. I'm having a great time with them. But I want to give a special shout out onto YouTube because I have cleared a huge milestone uh, this last month, which was getting to 10,000 subscribers. I know for like the big channels, they're like in a million subscribers or hundreds of thousands and they have like a team and they do all this stuff and they're amazing. That's awesome. But for this little person who's a teacher and a coach, who's just having fun talking about anime and manga, 10,000 subscribers is, is a big deal to me. So thank you all so much for the support. So I told everybody on YouTube that when I got to 10,000 subscribers, I would finish Has Been Hotel season one. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in the month of June. It's going to be on Wednesdays um, after Psychopaths. It's gonna be on at 12 central time uh, in, at noon is gonna be finishing up Has Been Hotel season one which is super exciting. I already have an idea for when I reach 11,000 subscribers. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but thank you. That's gonna be finished this season. And then the two extras that I'm gonna talk about this uh, month are going to be Yona of the Dawn. I'm dreading and excited for that volume to come out. We're gonna be doing that this month as well as um, Croco Basketball's Bright Colors. I've been wanting to get to that a uh, little extra booklet that Anime Annie, a fellow patron sent to me. We're gonna be doing that month as well because it's gonna coincide with one of the live streams I'm doing 
that I'm gonna talk about here shortly. But um, something that's not on here is that there are gonna be two polls in June um, that are gonna be replacing Psychopaths and Puella Magi Madoka in July. So if you get to be on Patreon uh, this June, you'll get to vote on those, which is exciting. But um, as far as the other extras for June, I am gonna be doing live streams. I started doing live streams last summer and I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. So I'm going to be doing basically three live streams a month. I'm gonna to try to do them every other week because I think that'll help people's schedules and being able to watch them. Um, if you cannot tune into the live streams and you're a patron, don't worry. I am gonna upload the live streams on Patreon so that you can see them if you're not able to make it and you can leave comments and we can talk about it and things like that. Um, and if you're on YouTube, you'll be able to see them as well even if you can't attend afterwards. But there's three shows, technically four, that I'm really excited about to talk in these live streams. Um, on June 2nd, y'all have been begging me for an Attack on Titan live stream. Well, we're gonna have it June 2nd. <laughs> I have two hours blocked off, but I'm not sure it's gonna be just two hours. <laughs> because I have a whole horde of things to unbox, to talk about, to go over with you all. I'm so excited. Um, Isayama released an art book and I bought it. And so I have the art book. I haven't looked at it yet. There's like prints that were included from the series. I haven't looked at those. There's an extra 18 page manga volume. I haven't looked at it yet. So there's gonna be so much to unbox and look at on June 2nd. I don't think it's gonna be just two hours. So if you can tune in, they're gonna be at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. This one's going to be Sunday, June 2nd. We're going to talk about Attack on Titan. It's going to be a fun time. I haven't talked about Attack on Titan in a while, so I'm sure I'll have things to say. <laughs> and then um, on June 15th, which it is a Saturday, I was originally going to have it on Sunday, but that is ironically Father's Day. And so I'm probably going to be doing things with my father on that day. So on Saturday, June 15th, if that changes, I will let you all know on Patreon and YouTube. But as of right now, on Saturday, June 15th, we're going to be doing a live stream about Monster and Pluto. <laughs> two two Urasawa series that I'm sure have nothing to do with fathers <laughs> and their children. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to be talking about Pluto as well as Monster on June 15th, Saturday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And then finally at the end of the month, um, to coincide with the bright colors um, extra I'm going to be looking at, we are going to be looking at Kuroko's Basketball. There is a giant shipping <laughs> Excel sheet, and I'm going to rank all the ships in Kuroko's Basketball. It's probably going to take more than two hours, but we're going to go through it. <laughs> I'm so excited to talk about Kroko's basketball and the end of the series and to do a live stream about that as well. So if you want to get on YouTube and talk with me about Attack on Titan, Monster and Pluto or Kroko's basketball, I have the live stream series and schedule for you. And there's a community post about it on YouTube as well if you want to see that. So yes, I'm super excited. Um, something else I'm really excited about um, for the month of June is I have been working on, I'm not saying it's the highest quality, but... I, there's a series that I watched as a kid that I that kind of defined my entire interest in anime and manga and I've thought about it for years and years and on YouTube there's really only two videos about it and so I'm going to be incorporating those and talking about them alongside the series Unico by Osama Tetsuka which it just happened to coincide as I'm finishing Pluto which is an adaptation of an Osamu Tetsuka work I thought oh this would be the perfect time to do a video about it we're ending Pluto and so we might as well talk about Tetsuka's work with Unico. So I've been working on a video essay. I'm going to be having it on Patreon first and then on YouTube afterwards. But um, if you want to watch reactions to the Unico media, which I highly recommend, um, those will be Patreon exclusives that will come out each Sunday afternoon after that video essay airs. And I encourage you, please give the video essay a look. I would love to do more video essays in the future, but I would like them to be worth my time. So um, if you get a chance, check out the video essay, let me know your thoughts on it and things you would like to see video essays of, but comment on the video essay, your suggestions. That way I'll know that there's viewership and that people are giving it support. So it should come out um, relatively around the same time as we do the Attack on Titan live stream. So when you're done with the live stream, you can go give the video a look 
or vice versa. Um, but it's something that I've worked on. I'm excited to talk about and just to kind of give some voice to something that was a big influence on me um, that may have even determined me starting this channel in the first place. So that's really exciting. So I hope you get a chance to look at it. Um, as far as other summer surprises, apparently there's a link click season <laughs> coming out at some point. <laughs> Link Click Season 3 is supposed to be out. All they've told us is summer 2024. Is that June? Is it July? Is it August? Is it September? We don't know. Nobody really knows any clues about it. So when the first episode drops, I'm sure that Patreon and Discord will be the first to let me know. Um, now, I don't have plans to react to it in June as of yet. We'll see what happens. If it just suddenly drops in June, then yeah, I'll probably pick it up because I love Link Click and I want to react to it. Um, but if it comes out in July, for sure, um, we'll just play it by ear. But I am really excited that the third season is coming out. It's supposed to be eight episodes, which seems like a perfect little summer jaunt. You watch it for eight episodes. It counts for most of the summer. Seems like uh, seems like a plan. We'll cross that bridge when we, comes to, when we come to it, but I'll definitely do a video to update about that as we learn more. And also... I, I feel like I'm a lucky charm in some regards because I did a reaction with the last chapter of Ace of the Diamond Act 2 and I was really sad about it. And I was like, damn, there's no more Ace of the Diamond. And then they announced that they're going to be animating season four. <laughs> I'm so excited now. I'm not freaking out yet because I want them to take their time. We've theorized on Discord. I'm thinking next summer, like summer 2025 is when they're going to start airing. I'm super excited about it. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but I'm just so excited they're animating a fourth season. I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun to watch with you all. I'm purposefully not going to reread the manga to anticipate what they're gonna be animating and to react to it, but there are some moments in, honestly, the stuff that's not been animated in Ace of the Diamond is my favorite stuff. So I'm so excited. My favorite sports anime. Mwah. Um, as far as other surprises, I know that they're doing a blue lock video if We're talking about sports anime. They're doing a blue lock video, a uh, movie that will be coming to streaming this fall. I'm excited. And then season two after that. So we'll cross those bridges when we come to it. But, um, before we do unboxing, which I do have some unboxing things that I've gotten in May and June that I want to show with you all that I'm so excited and so very happy and grateful about. Um, but before we get to that unboxing, I do want to go ahead and talk to you all and say that uh, for the first time in a long time, Romania is going on a vacation. <laughs> June 5th through June 9th, Romania is going to be on vacation, which I went to a competition with my speech team in April but I would not describe that as a vacation. It was basically a competition I was judging and handling and babysitting 10 young adults for a week. So it was not much of a vacation, but I did have to record ahead for it. But this will actually be a legit vacation where I will be away from my computer, away from my home. I will be forced to have fun <laughs> for four days. And I'm really excited about it. So in anticipation for that, I am going to let you all know that I have been recording ahead because of my summer hours. I've been very fortunate to have more time to record. So I've been working on that. So things will be coming out on time on Patreon and YouTube. So don't worry about that. My vacation won't affect any of that. However, the only thing it will really affect is um, checking comments and being on the discord. Those four days, I will probably not be checking comments and I will probably not be on the Discord much. I will probably be on maybe at night before I go to bed. I'll check in to see if people have posted things. I'm sure they will. Um, but I won't be interacting much on Discord June 5th through June 9th. So if you see me MIA during that time and you're like, where's Romania? Your girl's on vacation. Super excited. I'll tell you all about it when I get back. <laughs> so, and I'll probably have an update about it in July. So that'll be exciting. But I'm going to let you all see my unboxing video portion right now um, and then I'll come back at the very end to give you all a really quick conclusion so have fun watching me have the time of my life with some of the best gifts I've received so far on the channel here you go well hey everybody so this is part uh one of however many parts I have unboxing um if there's only one part of this unboxing for the month of June, then at the very end, I'll go back and do like a little uh, end of the video thing. But otherwise, um, I was sent some packages today, but I literally just did my May unboxing and I didn't want to wait an entire month to open these. So 
<laughs> so there are three boxes here and I'm going to open them up for y'all and see what people sent me. Um, thank you all so much, by the way, for sending me gifts, especially some of you said it was for my birthday. I really appreciate that. Y'all don't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to try to defeat the box with said knife. I've been told on discord that I am quite dangerous with knives. Um, you are not wrong. <laughs> So let's see what this first one is. This one is actually, um, I don't know exactly who this is from. It's from New York. We'll see. New York's a big state. Oh, there's a thing. There's a card. There's something. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, this is a, this is a big bag. Uh, choose your wish carefully from Lyndon. No. Is this have to do with Magica Madoka? Madoka Magica? Oh no. <laughs> oh no! This is the most ominous birthday present ever! Oh shit. I'm keeping this bag, by the way. Ah! Oh my god. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. If you don't know what this is, I'm about to show you. This is, without a doubt. Ah! Huckleberry, don't listen to him! No! No, <laughs> he's trying to eat him! Oh no! If I gave this to Huckleberry right now, he would tear this little bastard apart. Look, he'll grant your wishes. <laughs> He's gonna try to eat him! Oh, Cubay, I'm gonna have to put you up to where Huckleberry can't get you. Otherwise, he's gonna try to eat you. This is this is terrifying, but thank you. <laughs> I I was gonna be honest. I was almost gonna look for Cubay things today. Um, and then I thought, no, there's probably gonna be spoilery things if I do that, so I'm not gonna do that. Um I these look like ears that come from ears, or are they little hands that touch your soul? <laughs> Well, this is gonna have to find its way uh, back on that shelf if Huckleberry doesn't eat him. Huckleberry's <laughs> You can't eat Cubay! No! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put Cubay over here for now. Huckleberry, you can't eat Cubay. I mean, he's never he's never tried to eat one of the things I've opened on this channel before. It's a sign. Huckleberry knows his evil. He senses it. He knows it's coming. Oh my god, that's insane. Okay, um, this next one is from Moomin, so thank you, Lyndon. I really do love that so much. I'm terrified of it, but I love it. <laughs> oh my god, this one's from Moomin. Moomin, I'm not gonna lie. If this is Zod, I'm gonna freak out a little might bit. I just wanted a picture of it, and I Moomin has been knitting a little a knitting Zod for my berserk manga readings because they're amazing and i've been saying like i would love to see a picture of it and they've never replied and in the back of my mind i'm like does that mean they're gonna send me one and so oh my god oh here's a little zorg for you it's called zorg his movable arms and legs buttons on wings and he's very huggable um i've included a label with the type of yarn I've used. I hope he brings you lots of joy. Moomin. Oh my god! This is like best, best day ever. Okay, so this was the yarn. Uh, swish, if you're all curious. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Holy shit! Oh my god! This is a legit, oh, look at that, look at it, look at Zod. Look at, okay, this is not the best image angle of him. Look at him with his little horns and he has little wings. Oh my God, this is going on a bed, yes. Oh, and he has a tail too. Oh my God, little Zorg. You made this, I couldn't. I couldn't even like stitch this part if my life depended on it. If somebody was like, you need to stitch this or you'll die, I'll be like, it's over. Let's just get it over with now. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. 
thing. Oh my God, I, I'm gonna have this with me during Berserk readings from now on, so I hope you're ready. Zod is going to join me for our Berserk readings and he's gonna be there to deal with everything that that goes on. So I, I don't know how to feel about the fact that we have Cubay <laughs> and Zod. I don't know how we're gonna deal with this. Look at them. This is gonna be the thumbnail of me being like, that's gonna be me, that's gonna be this. Oh my God, this is amazing. I, I am so like, this is like, I feel like I'm a kid again and I love every second of this, getting both of these. I'm so, so excited. Okay, now the last thing I had, there was a note uh, on Discord about it that goes with this. So I'm gonna open it up uh, to, to show it with y'all. So hold on just a second. Um, it says the package did not come with, uh, with a note. So I feel like I need to open up the box first though and see what's inside and then read the note because it, it may be one of those things where I don't know. I'm not, I'm so curious. I want to see. Hmm. Okay. Um, I want to find out. It says it's from Sanrio though, which I'm sorry. You all need to understand. I love Sanrio to an absurd degree. Like the, the Tokidoki makeup line is like, I, I'm not, I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I do like some Tokidoki um, and they discontinued it, the bastards. And so I'm not like, well, what do I do? Okay, let's say, happy birthday. I've been really scrambling the internet looking for something that you'd like. Books, no, there's too many already. Candles, oof, I don't think it'd survive. Sorry, Zero. <laughs> hey, we mashed that up. We made melts out of it, it works. Um, I did think of a particular shirt, but it got sold out and it was a pre-order, so it never arrived before May. Mm. There was also the idea of other anime merch, but I could just couldn't decide on what fandom. At some point I looked at mugs, but I noticed your Patreon um, thing has sunglasses and it hit me. A little light bulb flashed in my head. Why not a case for glasses? <gasps> yes! I noticed Hello Kitty has some very cute stuff and they're celebrating a 30th anniversary one of their original characters. So I had bought that. It's rather simple, but I thought it would be of use as well. I hope you like it. Feel free to do with it as you wish. It may not be the best, but it is a fine dog. What we got here? I don't mean to compete with myself. I wish you a great health, happiness, and prosperity for the years to come. Thank you for your kindness and for having an amazing community. I really can't imagine what it would be like if I had not joined. Kudos. Oh, yes. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. Look at the, it's the little penguin one. Yes, I know the um Bad Bats Maru. <gasps> it says the character is Maru, part of the Hello Kitty universe. He's described, and I quote, Bats Maru is described as a mischievous and somewhat eccentric penguin character, often portrayed in a grumpy standoffish fashion and demeanor. Sanrio Bats Maru tends to exhibit a strong and independent attitude, preferring not to be bothered by others. I thought it was such a mood. How cute. Ah, oh, yes. Oh my God. And even because with like a little cleaning cloth. Yes, that has him on it. Oh my God. What's so cute about this is that like, look, that little cloth is really adorable. But what's so cute about this is that um, they did a collaboration with Attack on Titan in Sanrio and they assigned like the Hello Kitty characters to each of the Attack on Titan main characters. And Maru was given to Levi, who's like my, one of my favorites. And now knowing that description of their character, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> So this is actually awesome. Believe it or not, my actual like legit glasses that I wear will fit perfectly in this. And the case that I've used for literally 15 years with those glasses has been messed up forever. And I've always been like, oh, I wish I had a nice case that they would fit in that's not broken. You did it, Nicholas. You did it. So thank you. Thank you so much, Nicholas. Thank you, Moomin, for my Zod, my little Zorg. I love my little Zorg and um, Lyndon. I'm glad that you enjoy torturing me. Thank you. Huckleberry does not approve. <laughs> so yes, um, so let's get back to uh, the rest of this video. Thank you guys so much. Hey everybody, so this is round two of the unboxing. I did the first part of this unboxing at the beginning of the month, and then this is now technically the 15th as I'm recording this. So I'll probably check my PO box one more time, but I'll kind of bookend if this is the last unboxing with the beginning of the video to the end of the video. So, but 
I like to open up as I get to them, so I wanted to go ahead and record this. But I've gotten two gifts here. One is from Zero Anti Zero, the other is for Esteban. They are both patrons. Um, I had known in advance that they were going to be sending me something, and so they came in the mail today, which is really exciting. So um, I'm going to open up Esteban's first, um, which is in this little package here. Um, they recently went to Japan, which super jealous. <laughs> That's on my bucket list. I, I want to go eventually it is on my to-do list, but I'm super excited that they got to go. I'm very curious to see what they sent me. So we're going to see what this is uh, real quick here and open this, this up. Ooh, is there a note? There is a note. Yay. Okay. Hey, Romania. I came across a couple of things in Japan that I thought you might like. Ooh, the charm is from Tokyo Tower, and it's for victory. You know well who the men in the acrylic is. <gasps> I hope you like them, Esteban. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay. It's in a black bag, so I, can, I have no clue what is, what is in this. Um, there is a little charm. Oh. Oh, the little victory charm. This is so cute. I'm going to hang this from my mirror in my car and just be like, victory. As I drive past people, I'll be like, victory, mother truckers. So, yes, I love that. that that's going in my car today. It's going to go in there right now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's so cool. I love it has the Tokyo Tower on it. That's awesome. Yay. Oh, my. Um, they said that they went to a free store that had lots of free things in it. And by free, I mean the anime. And so I'm I'm very curious if this is going to be from that or not. It is! It is! Yay! Oh, I can't my voice go an octave. Oh, look who it is! Oh, it's my fave man! It is him! It is our, it's our shark himself. It's so scary. Oh, oh, I'm so scary. Esteban actually got me a blanket years ago with Sosuke on it, and I still have that blanket. It's in the other room, and I, on a on a cozy day, I will bring it to the couch and just sit there and, like, cozy up with it if I'm going to read a book. Oh, mm, mm, mm. I also have back on the shelf, you can't see it because it's behind the This Is Fine dog, but there is the uh, Sosuke uh, plushie that I've got there, so this is going to have to go on the shelf with Sosuke there. Definitely going to have to go there, so thank you! Ah, oh, I'm so excited! That's so awesome. I, mm. You can never get enough free merchandise. Can't. Can't possibly. Oh, that's so exciting. Thank you so much, Esteban. I'm so happy you got to go to Japan. Dreams. Like, bucket lists. So... That would be so much fun. I follow someone on Twitter and they live in Japan and they post um, just different locations where they go to. If I think about it, I will try to put their uh, link in the description below. I may forget about it, so you may have to comment and ask if you're interested. But they post different locations in Japan and one of them they actually went to Iwatobi where it where Iwatobi would be on the map. And there's like all of these different cafes that have just free merchandise. Oh, I'd be broke. I'd just be like, give me all of it. <laughs> And then this one is from uh, Zero Anti Zero. I, I tried to open it up a little bit ahead of time because me plus knives equals not good. <laughs> so we'll see. But y'all, thank you so much for sending me these birthday gifts. You all don't have to, but I'm super, super appreciative of it um, whenever you all do. So I'm very appreciative of it, but thank you so much. Oh, what is this? Is there is there a note or there is a note? Good. We'll open up this note first. I always am afraid I'm going to open up the thing first and then get the note and be like, oh, Romania, happy birthday. I didn't forget about it this year. Um, to celebrate, here are a few items I hope you'll like, as well as a one-shot manga, which was my first taste of BL as a genre. Ooh, I hope you like it. Best birthday wishes, zero anti zero. Oh, I y'all know I ain't gonna turn down a BL manga. Y'all know I ain't gonna turn that down. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no <laughs> to that. Like what? Oh man. Okay, make sure I didn't forget anything that's in there. Nope, we're good. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. Oh, this box. What do we got here? I'm so curious. I think this is the manga first, or or what is this? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. There's things. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Is that, is that it? Oh my goodness. <gasps> of course it's Ace of the Diamond, but 
Oh my gosh, what is this? It's the official guidebook. <gasps> oh yeah, the official guidebook of Ace of Diamond. Oh my God, is this, is this act one and act two? What is this? Why are there two of them? There are two of them. What is happening? Okay, the Ace of Diamond, it says guidebook. I wish I knew what it meant. Which years it goes to. I, I don't know if this is supposed to be, okay, I'm gonna look on the inside a little bit to see if this seems, okay, this seems from act one, this, cause it has the third years in it. So this seems from the first act. Oh my gosh, yep, and Haruichi's hair is a good indicator of that. Oh, and then this one though, that has the third years and they all are, it's just the third year. Oh, this is a manga. Oh, oh, these are actual manga things. Are these OVAs and a guidebook? Oh, interesting. Is this one story that looks like it might be the OVA? I think it's the OVA that's in there. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Oh, I love it. And there's all this extra information. Oh, absolutely. Oh wow, and the pilot's in here. <gasps> nice, the pilot, the original one for um, Ace of Diamond, back when he kind of looked like Raichi. <laughs> And, and Sonata's just there. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I love it. I love that it originally was um, basically Yakushi was the OG team. And then say and then Sato came along and Yakushi changed. That's so cool. But what is this? Is there another guidebook? There's another one? Oh, it's a tiny one. This is a baby. It's a baby guidebook. Oh. Oh, wow. This has a lot of color in it, color information in it. Nice. Has some nice color images of our crew. Oh man. Oh, I love this. This I'm definitely gonna look. They're all like color images. Oh, they're all like just different cover spreads and I'm gonna have to go through this and enjoy the hell out of it. <laughs> this, I could sit here and stare at this for hours, which, which will probably happen. I, oh man. Oh, look at, look at Miyuki trying to look cool. <laughs> look at him trying so hard. Um, oh, these are so good. And my dog's like, pay attention to me. Not the, not the Ace of the Diamond guidebook. Thank you so much. I want to see what this uh, BL though is as I toss Huckleberry his ball. This thing is hefty, hefty, hefty. Oh, ooh. Only the ring finger knows. This looks so 90s. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, I'm getting Vampire Night flashbacks with this. This looks so Vampire Night coded. Oh my God. By uh, Hotaru Odagiri and Satoru Kanagi. Oh, only the ring finger knows. That's, that sounds like such a 90s title though too, doesn't it? It sounds like you, something you your mother would have like on a beach, <laughs> like in the 90s. Oh man. I'm glad it's translated into English. This feels like fruits baskets. This feels like vampire night. This has some hot gimmick vibes. I am, I am so excited to read this. I love me some 90s BL. There are some problems sometimes in 90s BL, but then there's also some wholesome ones. So I'm so excited. Yes. Oh, thank you, Esteban. Thank you, Zero. You've given me many things to look at. Uh, to help celebrate the rest of my birthday month. So thank you so very much. All of my love. I ah, get to update the bookshelves now. So um, anyway, um, I don't know if there's gonna be another unboxing after this or if we're gonna round out the video for this month, but um, we'll go back to that now. So thank you. Y'all are amazing. <laughs> so I hope you all have an amazing June. Summer is one of my favorite seasons. Summer and fall are my favorite seasons. I'm very excited for summer. I'm very excited to be able to not only record ahead to get some projects that I have in mind out of the way perhaps, but also to be able to hopefully talk with you all more in the comments by recording ahead. So that's very, very exciting. Um, and I'll be keeping my moderators updated about that as well. So a special shout out to my moderators, to Be Happy and Floor who, look at so much each week for me. I feel like I work y'all too hard. Thank you so much for donating your time. 
and your kindness. I really appreciate it. But also a special thanks to Gein, who has been moderating uh, Magicka Madoka. I really, really appreciate that. You've been a tremendous help moderating a show, as well as Sunspots helping to moderate Psychopaths and looking at Natsumi as well. So many thanks to y'all for helping to moderate and look over these episodes to make sure that I'm not spoiled, but also that I'm able to interact with the comments and with everyone as well. So... Thank you so much. And thank you all to everybody. I'm so excited for June. I'm really excited for the updates that I'm hoping to have to you all for July. But like I said, I'm going to be donating 100% of the proceeds for June to World Central Kitchen. It's an organization I'm really excited about. And I'm hoping that we get a nice donation to give to them to help someone in need um, for the month of June. So... So happy Pride, happy month of June, happy summer. I'm so excited. I can't wait to come back in July and talk to you all about updates that I have in mind for the channel then. So in the meantime, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Please stay safe, take care, and yes, I'll be back very soon, y'all, with more reactions. Bye.